Our movie begins with Paul, who is a very skilled real estate agent. We notice that Paul always likes to enter any house he's selling and tidies it up to convince the clients to buy it. Paul is a top achiever when it comes to selling units in his company. After selling a new apartment, Paul decides to invite his friend Jack and Jack's wife Michelle over for dinner at his house. We notice that Paul is stingy and doesn't care for his wife as Jack does for Michelle. After a while, Grace, Paul's wife, gets a call informing her that her uncle John has died. Grace is very sad because she loved him very much, unlike Paul, who only thinks about the money he will inherit. The next day, after the funeral, Paul and Grace go to the lawyer to open John's will. They learn that John left them a plant, and that's their inheritance. They also got shocked that he donated his house to charity. Paul is shocked by what happened, and he takes Grace and the plant and leaves. He wants to throw the plant away, but then changes his mind. Later, they go home, and Paul argues with Grace about what her uncle did. She angrily replies that her uncle loved her, and the fact that he gave her this plant means it's important to him. Then. Paul goes to work, and we notice that he's arrogant and always likes to show off to Jack that he is better than him, making fun of his sales. At night, Grace asks Paul to get a plumber to fix their broken faucet, but because he is stingy, he tells her that he will fix it himself instead of spending unnecessary money on something he can do. The next day, when Paul finds out that his son is sharing his food with a classmate, he gets angry and tells him that the food costs him a lot of money. Later, Paul goes to work and meets. Jack and they go down for a coffee together, where we notice that Jack paid for Paul's coffee. When they leave the cafe, Jack donates to a beggar on the street, unlike Paul. We notice that Paul is jealous of Jack and wants to partner with him in his business in exchange for half the money he earns. Jack feels obligated to agree because Paul is his friend and he doesn't want to upset him. When Paul gets home, he tidies up and moves the plan. After watering it, Paul is shocked to find that it has produced money. When his wife and kids arrive. Home, he quickly hides the money and the plan to hide it from them. Later on, Paul goes to Jack to discuss their business. Jack wants to sell an abandoned factory, and since it needs cleaning, they go in to clean it up. Paul was very smart in sales, so he gives a couple of tips to Jack on what to do before leaving. Paul goes home, waters the plant, and collects the money it produced. When he asks his wife about the plant, she tells him it's just a normal plant with nothing unusual about it. So he realizes he's the only one who can see the money. The next day, the priest comes to Paul and Grace's house to collect donations, and Paul's family is surprised when he donates a large amount of money for the first time. Over time, Paul's appearance and clothing style change. And for the first time, he gives his kids an allowance. Everyone is surprised by his transformation, even his colleagues at work. He starts spending money on unnecessary things, buying trivial items, and even purchasing an expensive lawn mower. Grace gets upset with him, becomes suspicious, and asks him where he got all this money. He tells her it's a commission from selling Jack's factory. The plan continues to produce a lot of money every day, and Paul becomes wealthy. One day, he feels that his car is old and buys an expensive car, paying for it in cash the same day, which surprises the salesman. Paul then goes to Jack to show off his new car and lets him drive it. Meanwhile, a tax investigator visits the agency where Paul bought the car, and she gets puzzled when going through the books, knowing that someone paid such a large amount in cash. She starts focusing on him to find out where he got the money and monitors his account. Paul returns home with his new car, and his kids are amazed. But Grace was not pleased. She gets angry with him, and at night she asks about the car's price and is shocked by how expensive it is. Paul explains it's all from the factory's commission, but she doesn't believe him and tells him she no longer trusts him before leaving the room. Paul spends the night sleeping on the couch. The next morning, the priest visits Paul's house asking for donations, but Paul tells him he has no money. Later, the tax invest. Investigator visits Paul's house while he's out. Grace was the one who met her. The investigator asks about Paul's expenses, and Grace says that her husband is the top real estate agent in his company and gets a good commission. When the investigator asks about the car's money, Grace throws her out and tells her only Paul can answer that. After the investigator leaves, Grace gets a call informing her that Paul's income has decreased over the last two years. Paul notices that the plant has stopped producing money. Grace then asks Paul about the source of his money. Because 
because the tax investigator was there today questioning his finances. Grace was worried that Paul might be involved in something illegal. Paul doesn't tell her anything and leaves. He goes to the priest, apologizes for not donating when he came by earlier and gives him $10,000 before leaving. The tax investigator is watching him and after seeing him leave the priestess place, she goes in and asks the priest if the money on the desk is from Paul's donation. The priest denies it, saying Paul is a stingy person. Paul checks the plan again but finds it hasn't produced any money, making him depressed. He starts donating to a beggar and the barista at the coffee shop, surprising everyone since he has never given them money before. The tax investigator was still watching him. That night, Grace and her daughter go to the factory to find Paul because he isn't answering her calls. Suddenly, their daughter falls through a hole in the floor that Paul and Jack had only covered with a cloth instead of filling it. They rush her to the hospital. Jack gets angry with Paul, accusing him of caring only about money and demands that Paul get out of his life. Jack then walks away. Paul tells Grace that Jack is mad because he wanted to fix the hole their daughter fell through, but Paul told him not to and to just cover it with a cloth. Grace gets angry at him and leaves. Paul goes to his daughter, praying desperately for her to wake up from the coma, promising to change. Grace overhears him and is moved by his words. The daughter wakes up and forgives her father. They all return home, but Paul's son is upset with him and locks himself in his room. Paul apologizes, admitting he has been a lousy father, always focused on money and promises to make it up to him and his sister. His son forgives him, comes out and they hug. Just then, the tax investigator arrives with the police and arrests Paul, accusing him of engaging in illegal activities. Paul is taken to jail where he meets the priest who was also arrested because they thought he was Paul's partner. The priest reveals that he knows about the plan and tells Paul that when John had the plan, he was selfish and unhappy. John discovered that true happiness comes from helping others, which is why he donated all his money. Paul convinces the investigator that his money came from the factory commission and they release him. From then on, Paul starts donating to those in need, even giving away his expensive car to the poor. He lived stress-free, not worrying about money anymore. He became a better person, father and a husband.